Hello friends, in today's lesson we will discuss about when validate trigger in oracle forms. There are two kinds of when validate trigger in oracle forms. One is one when validate item, another is when validate record. So what is the difference between when validate item and when validate record? <coughs> Whenever you navigate, change any value in an item and navigate to from that item to the next item, then when validate trigger is fired. If you don't change any value, <coughs> there is no changes in the item and you navigate to the next item, when validate trigger does not fire. It only fires when you change any value, there is any change difference between the new and old value of the item. But in when validate record, this trigger, trigger is fired when you navigate from one record to another and forms find any changes in, in, in any item of the particular record. If any field is, if there is change in any field between its new value and new value, when validated record is fired. That is, when validated item is fired, when, which is depend on a single item, a particular item, but when validated records check for all the fields of a record. <coughs> so today we will create uh, this two trigger and check how it works. So here is a form which consists of a table, uh, consists of a multiple row tabular uh, form of uh, form in which it consists of multiple records. So I will put a value when validate trigger, when validate item trigger on imp underscore code. I will check if the employee code is blank. <coughs> so uh, and I will also check whether this employee code exists in the database. So I'll just go to a PLSQL editor. Since there, uh, if, uh, since there is no trigger, existing trigger, so the pop-up is uh, been displayed. If there is an existing trigger under this item, then, then that PLSQL code has been opened. So we select when validate item and click OK. Now I will write the, now we write the trigger code to check whether it is null or whether it exists in the database. If employee salary dot end code is null then there is already an existing message alert message created so I am using that invalid sorry uh, employee code cannot be blank so what we will do race from trigger failure this is a form event which will call it it just stops the operation here and item is been prevented from moving out of the uh, the cursor has been prevented from moving out of the database item that form item the next one raise form trigger failure begin select ok let's make a declaration declare uh, n number select distinct one into n from employee salary where m code equal to just copy this one code we will create an exception exception when no data found then 
देने के लिए ले ए लाटी में से नो साच एम्प्लाई कोड एक्सेस एग्ज़ाम रेस फ्रॉम ट्रिगर फेलियर एंड सो दिस इज़ बिन डन नाउ वी विल व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल क्रिएट अ दिस इज़ बिन कंपाइल्ड नो कंपाइलेशन एरर नाउ वी विल क्रिएट अ वन वैलिडेट रिकॉर्ड ट्रिगर now what this value when the trigger trigger will do <coughs> we will actually check with check that gross pay should be greater than equal to basic gross pay should never be less than basic so to check this if you do it in a in the the item level you have to give, put a check in the when validate item trigger check here you have to put a when validate trigger item check here so that will be a very hectic job so what we will do we will just go to the go to the object browser and block level trigger and put a create press the create button create button and when validate record we have selected this and press enter now just paste this okay it's not been copied okay we will write it again if nvl we are checking just giving the nvl checking do imply because we have not put any null check on basic and gross if nvl employee salary dot basic comma zero you know what nvl does it just check check if it is null it is the, the default value is comma if the, this is checked this value is checked if it is null then the second parameter is the default value as if uh, you have done uh, worked in visual uh, uh, basic or if you, you have worked in sql server there is also called null if or is null type of uh, function is null which also does the same thing so basic greater than greater than then lrt msc raise from trigger failure and so message will be gross pay cannot be less than basic uh, we can also put a ch null check here we can do it i am also putting after that you don't have to put the nvl sign but still we will not remove that but uh, just showing you if is null or gross pay is null then this we will copy this and change the message gross pay and basic cannot be blank it i will make it and both have to be on blank so okay there is a bracket that's why it happened here also the same thing it's compiled now we will run the form and check whether the trigger is working or not
Okay. So here is our existing record. I'll just delete this one and press enter. Employee code cannot be blank. Now I'll remove, just make it such that it, it does not exist. I'll just remove one and see. No such employee code exists. You can see how the when validated item uh, trigger is fired here. The same thing, no such employee code exists. And remove this one. Employee code cannot be blank. I will show you later on that uh, just removing this one, just removing gross pay and we will move just a moment. Okay, extremely sorry for the inconvenience. Actually, there is a required field in the um, item property. If it is uh, set to yes, then uh, in no trigger trigger item box, forms trigger item box um, fire, been fired. So I have to set it to no. Now we will just again repeat the previous task. We will make it blank. See. Gross pay and basic cannot be blank. Okay. Now we will just put a value, suppose 3000 and make the gross pay blank. Gross pay cannot be less than basic. Okay. So, okay. We have been, the logic has been somewhat we have to change the logic. Actually, it will be uh, not and it will be or because if any of this is blank then it will not work now we will check again Make it blank, make it blank. Gross pay and basic cannot be blank. Now we will just check that one. 3000, gross pay 2000. Gross pay cannot be less than basic. Now see, we have not write the code twice in basic when validated item and gross pay when validated item. We have just set the when validated trigger on the on block level and just put the message there and it that is how it works. So this is all about when validated item and when validated trigger and when validated uh, item and when validated record trigger and uh, you can see that <coughs> They can only they only works when they find find the changes in the text item field item. It not it is not required that it all it necessarily that it will always be a database item. It cannot be not it can be a non database item. But there changes should be there when it find its item finally find it change, find changes in the text item in the when validated item trigger is fired. In the same way, uh, when it find changes to set of items in a record, when validate record trigger is fired. So that, that's all about this lesson. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, do, do, if you like it, do subscribe to my channel or share the video on your social network site. Thank you very much.